Hello everybody, and welcome to my second Logo Evolution. Today, we are doing Cup of Coffee Studios. And I'm taking this information from Wikipedia. Cup of Coffee Studios, or Cup of Coffee Animation, is an animation studio in Canada, basically Toronto, Canada, or Ontario, Canada. Cup of Coffee was founded by Adam Sheen in 1992, and Cup of Coffee specializes in both stop motion animation and 3D animation. Cup of Coffee has produced for networks around the globe, including Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, Canada, what's that name? Canada Board, Canada Broadcasting Company, there you go. Home Box Office, American Broadcasting Company, Music Television, and Cartoon Network, Watch Music, and many others. Cup of Coffee Studios has won over 200 international awards in animation. The studio is recognized as the largest stop motion animation studio in the world, specializing in TV production. Cup of Coffee also produces 2D flash animations. The studio is working with a New York-based archer type producing stop-motion music videos. Currently, the studio is developing a future film starring David Dutchovany. And their company was started in the 1990s, most specifically 1997, because that's when their first logo was introduced. So, let's go on to our first logo. This first logo from Cup of Coffee Animation. And that's what it's called. It's called Cup of Coffee Animation. The first logo starts on a black background and fade in or out, or sometimes just stay in place. No fade at all. There is a yellow cup, or I mean a black cup with a yellow outline, with coffee in it, which looks like lemonade, and there's little sparkles above the coffee and the coffee is being on a plate which is connected to something. Oh, this is not connected to anything, it just has this weird thing to the upper right. Upper left. I meant sorry. But underneath that it says a cup of coffee animation. A cup of coffee is white. Animation black but Behind it is yellow. Since this is their first logo, I'll give it too hard to score. And I'll probably give it about a 7 out of 10, even though it looks really bad today compared to the standards of today, obviously. Next, I almost forgot to mention that I found this feature, which wasn't described anywhere in CLG Wiki. It's the same design as the logo that is described on Sailor Wiki, except this time it's from step up to down, it's left to right. Cup of coffee is what I'm presumably saying is yellow, though this bad quality camera might make it uh, make, make it yellow. And animation looks completely different. Instead, it's the exact opposite, where animation and the outline white and inside it it's black. So technically this is a UV shrimp. So I won't really necessarily give any ratings on these as well. But just something to point out. This next logo was used in the two thousands from two thousand two to two thousand eight. And this logo is is somewhat better, but still keep mine with a similar, of a similar version, where it's like kind of simple. This is on a blue background where a cup of coffee pops. The popping is has no noise, but the popping is orange slash yellow, depending on the quality. This time, the cup of coffee, the cup is orange, coffee is black. And the plate is also orange, just slightly lighter. Depending on the vatrant, it is, it will say a cup of coffee, cup of coffee animation, or a cup of coffee 
Um, what's the studios? Yeah, a couple copy studios. It will just appear out of nowhere. And just pop, technically, like the cup of coffee itself. This logo is somewhat of improvement, so I'll give it a, um, only a 7.5, because it's not, like, too good, but it's at least better than the last logo, in my opinion. While I don't necessarily agree with this, CLG Wiki technically counts this as a different logo itself, when I feel like it's a Patriot of the last logo. But still. This one is the same has the same background and coffee cup like last time. And I bet it has the same animation, but this is the only version that we have of this logo that's from a picture of it. And that's a watermark in it too. But this one, Kappa, appears, goes up, basically. It appears out of nowhere and goes up. Coffee, once Kappa goes into place, Coffee comes to the right of Kappa, and then after that, Studios comes up from Coffee. I do like this logo because it's a little bit more, you know, it has more, a couple more animation stuff. So, I'm going to give this a 7.7, because .7, it's not a big improvement, but it's an improvement enough where you can kind of call it an improvement. So, let's go ahead and see the next logo. How about that? This one is completely different. And I mean, like, everything except the cup, but you can tell it's been redesigned. This is a still logo as well, but it's not in credit. This logo has the same kind of design as last time, but there's a few changes. For one thing, the background is now 69, or in most programs at least. And the thing is that this is mostly white with a little tinge of yellow that you can see in it. I don't know what those black dots are so far, for, but they're there. Underneath, you know, the text underneath the coffee is pretty much the same thing, except it says Cup of Coffee Studios as the one exciting. There's no, like, cup of coffee animation, cup of coffee with nothing, or just cup of coffee, all that stuff. But it just says Cup of Coffee Studios. It is black, and it, from what I can tell, it looks somewhat like a Comic Sans and Ariel kind of font. But you can tell it's it's more like a home style kind of font. I give this logo a 7.3 because they changed some things already good about the logo and kind of made it a little bit more bland and boring in my opinion. And this is the end of my logo evolution video of Cup of Coffee Studios, a Canadian company. Okay, I'm just going to try and end this video best way as possible by drinking a cup of coffee. There's no coffee in here. Oh, I didn't get a cup of coffee. Still here.